Hello, loves. Okay. Just trying to get a little situated here. How is everybody? I hope everybody's having a good night. We are going to start. We are going to be putting some primer on our face. We're going to use some BB cream tonight. We're going to go in with some blues. We're going to go in with some purples. Hello, Pazan. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to all the people that are going to be joining. And I'm just going in with some primer. And primer is awesome because it makes your foundation stay on your face and doesn't make it move. It also conditions your face as it's priming. So primer is essential to using when you're using any type of foundation, concealer, anything like that. So I hope everybody had a good day. We're going to be doing falsies tonight as well. Figured go all out. Why not? Hello, Tanya Tap. You're tired. I'm tired. Hey, Vicky girl. Hey, Belinda. Thank you for posting my PayPal. So I haven't worn this wig in quite a long time. Quite a long time. This is my beach wave black into my silver. I figured it would go good with my blue tie-dye blouse. So... That's why I went with this one. I got my coffee here tonight. Definitely need some coffee. How is everybody doing? Hi, Miss Deirdre. Hello, Brittany babes. How are you? So I'm just um, getting ready. We're going to be doing some blues. We're going to be doing some purples. I'm going in with my Starry Nights palette again. It is like a staple now. It's definitely like a staple for my eyeshadows when I'm doing blues or purples. I love this palette. And if we can get 300 sprinkles out tonight, somebody is winning that palette. So that's exciting to me. I don't know about you. It's exciting to me though. So I'm going to go and add some concealer first because I do need some concealer. My eyes are a little bit dark on the underneath side. Um, because I don't know, I'm just tired. I've been tired today. Today's been one of those days, um, health wise, maybe not so great, but, um, we're just going to go and add a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes to hide a little bit of this darkness. So I do a little triangle right here and I don't go all the way to the outside of my eyes because... It will show more of your wrinkles and crinkles. So always remember, keep the little triangle close and nice and in towards your face. Any imperfections that you may have, you just go and just highlight them. I'll highlight a little bit up here, a little down my nose. This is mainly just for conceal, okay? We're just concealing right now. We're not really highlighting. So, ah, uh, thank you, Lisa. Do the admins qualify for the palette? I thought you had one. Is that Tia? Who's Which admin's talking? Because I don't know which one is which. I got so many admins in the room now. I don't know who's who, who's who. Who's who's who? So I'm going to go in with my rose water bottle that has only... Uh, it doesn't have rose water in it. It only has witch hazel. And I'm just going to go and just tap underneath here just to highlight it a little bit before we go and put on the foundation. So I'm just leaving it nice and light like that. Hey, Candace. It's Tia. Tia, didn't I give you one of these palettes already? I thought I did. If not, I got, I got some for you. When I see you over the weekend, if I see you over the weekend. Uh... Yeah, well, I'll definitely give you one of them. Okay, so there. I just highlighted my face. We're going to go and add some uh, foundation now. I'm wondering what color foundation I want to go with. I still haven't really decided. Uh, let's see. What color foundation? I think I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go with one of my cream foundations, if you bear with me. I don't know where my purr is. I wanted to go in with my purr. Let me see where it is. I know I have it here somewhere. You know, it's so, like, when you have so much stuff, it's like, where did you put it, right? Half of it's fallen on the floor. 
Behold setting spray. Where is my power? I just had it. God, Zooks. Um, if I don't have it, that's okay. We'll just go with... I know I have it. It's just a matter of finding it. It's just a matter of finding it. And of course I can't. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to grab a foundation. So hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. Let me see what color I want to use. Hmm. Let's go in with khaki. I like khaki because khaki's a little bit darker than my natural color. And it gives you kind of like a tan. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use khaki. And it is a cream. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm not adding a lot. Just where we need it. A little bit above here. A little bit over here. I don't want to go anywhere near underneath my eyes because we just highlighted underneath our eyes. So, hey, Lisa. JJ here is, is where's my Jessie Jump? She'll be in. She might be busy. She's been having a really tough time at work, my Jessie. She's been having a hard time at work, so I'm hoping that she's home and maybe taking a shower. It's like hay season where she works at the barn and she's just been having a really hard time. So let's keep her in our prayers because you know what? That's a tough job that she does. It's a really tough job. If you have a horse and you have them in a stall or you, you're, you've got them boarded or whatever, the, when you've got them boarded, usually the people at the horse farm, I guess, take care of the horses for you. They have full board, they have half board. Well, Jessie does everything at this barn and she deserves all of the credit and accolades that she can get because she works her butt off at this job. And I really hope that her boss knows what she's got in her because she's an incredible worker, incredible worker. So, see how it kind of gave me like a little bit of a not a dewy finish, but a little satin finish, and I like that. Hi, Janet. Hey, Amanda, girl. How are you girls doing? Thank you for sprinkling. So we just put on the color khaki, which is a, um, a satin cream finish foundation. Now we're going to go in. We're going to be doing blues and maybe some purples. I don't know if I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I really don't know yet. I'm going in with one of my favorite palettes that I've ever had, and that's the Moodstruck Beloved palette from Unique. And although I always talk about Unique, that I never really um, would ever go back to Unique, and a lot of their products I was not fond of, this palette is one that I have about five left of them because of the colors in this palette. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to go in with the color Adored, and I'm going to put that color Adored all over my lid right now. And it's a light pink, and I'm just blending it up to my brow bone and just blending it all out so it goes pink, my lid. All pink. So I hope everybody had a good day. Is everybody getting more more plans for 4th of July? Um, I just spoke to my brother in New York, and um, they are getting ready to open Phase 3 in New York um, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, New York is going to Phase 3, which means the restaurants will be opening at 50%. Um, hey, Teresa. So... I love this palette. So we might just wind up sticking just with this palette. I don't know yet. So, yeah, so they're going into phase three. My brother can't wait. He's thrilled because my brother loves to eat. He loves to go to the Chinese buffets. And he loves um, the Chinese buffets because every Friday and Saturday they, they have, um, I think it's like all-you-can-eat crab legs. And... He can pretty much put the place out of business with how much he eats the crab legs. He goes there strictly for the crab legs. So he can't wait. He goes, I don't care where the virus came from. Open up my Chinese buffet and open it now because I need it open. I want my crab legs. <laughs> Only Long Island, not New York City. Oh, really, Deirdre? He said he's been flipping so busy at the hot dog truck, Deirdre. So busy. 
He can't, he's looking, if Deirdre, if you know of anybody that wants to work, like a young kid or an older retiree or something like that that wants to work the hot dog truck. My brother's looking for somebody to work either three or four days a week. So I just figured I'd lay that out there. If anybody that lives on, in Suffolk County and wants a little side job, um, let me know. And I will get you in touch with my brother because he's looking for somebody. Right now, the guy, I think I told you, the guy that was working for him that worked this, the four days a week. Hey, Bridge, the guy that was working the four days had the COVID and he had it so bad, he was in a coma and he had the, the respirator for three months. Three months he had it. So he's just getting better now and he worked one day last week. So my brother's been working seven days a week at the hot dog truck, at his hot dog truck. And he's like, I freaking need a day off. <laughs> so if anybody wants to go and work, let my let me know and I'll get you hooked up with my brother, okay? And he's so cool beans, my brother. He's so laid back. You'll love him. He lets you do whatever it is um, that you need to do. So I'm going in with a little bit of the blue from my, uh, it's like the tealish blue. The tealish blue, 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 I'm going in and just going to make this more like a purple. Yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah. I'm going to go in with the blue here, and I'm just going to go back and forth and add a little bit. It's not even going to show. It's just going to be making it a light purple. How are you, Bridget? How are you, Amanda, girl? Everybody doing good today? Everybody feeling blessed? Everybody feeling like we're getting through this? I know it's a tough thing, guys. I don't know what the new norm is going to be. We don't know. You know, we're just taking it day by day. Every day is a new day and whatever happens. I know that the death counts um, in New York have gone down, thank God. Um, but... You go and look at Texas, you look at Miami, Florida, you look at California, and the death rates are going back up. Not good. Not good. So, I don't know why this phone is on right now. So, I don't know. I don't know what to think. They're thinking of shutting it down again. They're thinking of, you know, my daughter's in Texas. She's in her second trimester, and she hasn't stepped foot out of the house. Hasn't stepped foot out of the house because she's afraid, which, God, you know, I mean, she hasn't, she's been working out of her house. Her husband goes and does all the food shopping. She doesn't go out at all. She's deathly afraid, especially being pregnant. You know, you never know. You go outside. And she told her boss, you know, that she's going to be working from inside the house. She's not coming back to work until after she has the baby. Arizona, Florida, and Texas, right. Maryland is steadily decreasing, just like New York. You know what? And I always, I talked about Mr. Cuomo, right, the New York governor. And I said, you know, he's a, he's just, he, he just yaps away and he just likes listening to himself. But I honestly got to say, and this is the truth, you know what? He did the right thing because New York is decreasing, and even though people were so caught up on everything reopening and they were hating on them, listen, it, it, it's working. It's absolutely working. 20s to 30s, yes, that's what they said, Lacey. That's what they said. 20 to 30-year-olds, that's what it was affecting. So, gosh, it's just crazy. All right, we're going to go in here with some blue because I said we're going to do blue and purple. And this is a little bit of blue, and it's got some sparkle in it. Oh, Lord. More with the sparkles, right? And I'm just doing it on the outside of my eye, and then we're going to come and build it up and push it into our crease. This is all going to get blended, so don't go, oh, my God, look how much she's putting on. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you for spreading the word. Thank you for the love. And we're just pushing it up. And pushing it in right now we're gonna take our big fluffy brush and we're just gonna blend this all in back and forth it 
blend it in. Now, there's a lot of fallout there, but it doesn't matter because we're going to clean it up anywho. We're going to clean it up. So thank you for sprinkling. Hello, all the newbies. If you're new and you're just coming on, please say hello. Let me know where you're from. I would love to say hello and know where you guys are from. I know. I should know about sparkles by now because sparkles go everywhere on me. And they stay on me for days. I actually have been... I've been showering and the sparkles are still stuck in my hair, in my scalp. So I'm just cleaning up under here for a minute. They are still stuck in my freaking scalp. What the heck? Like, how do you get them out? How do you get them out? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Sugar Shug, how you doing? Hey, Sherry, how are you? Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you for letting your friends know that I am on. I hope that you are all joining more and more groups each day. Helping me out a little bit. Helping me out just a little bit every day. If every person joins one group a day and you sprinkle it out, that is helping me. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking for your heart. I'm not asking for, well, yeah, I'm asking for your heart. But um, I'm not asking for blood. Um, I would love it if you would share me out, though. That would mean a lot because I really need to get out there so people know about me. I'm going to come in here with an iridescent. This right here is going to be like, dang, dang. It's an iridescent, and it's gorgeous, and I'm just going to put it in right here and blend it in with the other color. I am actually sweating my butt off right now. If you could see me glowing, it's not a beautiful glow. It's a sweaty glow, okay? I'm sweating my butt off. So we're just gonna come in here. Any newbies in the house, say hello. We always welcome all the newbies to the house. Hey, Helen, hey, Kareen. All my girls are coming in. All my girls are coming in. I got my New York girls. I got my Helen from Long Island. I got my girls from Texas. I got my Maryland girls. So I'm just going in right now with this iridescent and I'm just pushing it up and in a little bit just to add lightness to the inside of the eye. Okay, we're going to go light on the inside, dark on the outside. Hello, Sandra, my lovey, gorgeous soul of you. Oh, and Indianapolis, Indiana. Kareen is in Indiana. Okay, let's start darkening the outside up. We're going to be using this color. It's called Devoted. It's from this gorgeous palette that I love from Unique. I got I to gotta say it because it's true. I got to say it because it's true. And we're going to come in and up. We're going to push it. And we're really going to start bringing our eyes out. We're going to use some black eyeliner tonight. We're going to use falsies. We're going all out tonight. Why not? Why not? Hello, Fort Myers, Florida. Hello, Miss Karen. Lacey's a Floridian. Rosemary is a Floridian. Look at all these Florida people. Florida's getting bad, guys. Be careful, please. Please, please be careful. Um, from what I, I was just watching the news, just watching the news as I was talking to my brother and they were saying that Florida is getting really bad, especially, pardon me, especially down by Miami, it's getting really bad. So please make sure you wear a mask. This is the white eyeliner that you will be getting if we hit our 300 sprinkles. So the more you share out, the closer we get to 300 sprinkles, 100 people in the room, you're going to get it. So sprinkle out. You're going to be getting the palette that I'm working on right now, the Starry Nights palette. I will show it to you. You are getting it for free. You're going to get it for free. Here's the Starry Nights palette right here. That's the one that I was working on. Remember the other day when I had the green, the lime green shirt on? That color will rock your socks off. Rock your socks off. Rock your socks off or knock your socks off. Either way, it's going to do amazing things to your eyes. 
We're gonna go in with a dark blue pencil and then we're gonna go in with blue eyeliner underneath. Yeah, Miami was bad in the beginning. Yeah, because you know why? You got all those young kids that don't care and they're going and they're not wearing masks and they're not doing the social distancing and they're just being stupid. Just being stupid kids. Stupid is as stupid does, like Forrest Gump would say, right? Stupid is as stupid does. So we're going in with the blue underneath. And now this is just a blue liner. We're going to go in with a pencil in a little while. So if you are new to my page, please make sure that you like and follow my page. You know what I noticed? There are girls on here that have been watching me forever that still have not liked my page. So, Sherry, Sandra, Lacey, I hope you all liked my page by now. But I was looking last night, and I'm like, holy crap, she didn't even like my page yet. And she's on here every night. Every night you girls are on here, and you haven't liked my page. To you, it might not mean like a big thing, but to me, that's how I get my likes up, my views up, by liking the page. It means a lot to follow and like this page. All right, we're going to go in now with the gorgeous color. It's like a tealish blue, and we're going to start smoking out this eye a lot. We're going to go a lot. So I'm going to go in with this gorgeous color right here. And we're going to come underneath, and we're going to start smoking it out, which means we're going to coming down lower on our eye and just coming around and smoke it out, smoke it out corner of your eye and I'm bringing it up to the corner of my brow even though I didn't do my brows yet even though I didn't do my brows yet I'm still my brows were done from today but we, we still got to go and fix them up a little bit so please remember to like and follow and now I'm going to go in with that blue and I'm going to put that blue going over here make sure that you could see it okay make sure that you could see it right there same thing on the other side. We're going to make sure that you can see it because we got it underneath our eye and now we want to bring it under and over right here. Okay, and we're blending it in with that purple all the way up. Blend it in with the purple all the way up to the corner. Okay. Hey, Danielle, how are you? Which page? This page this page go up to the top of the page make sure you click like tap my nose right now with your mouse or with your finger and make sure you click follow okay because if you don't follow the page you'll never know when I'm on right I was on Instagram today I hope that all of you were on my Instagram with me today we did an Instagram and that was the look with the leopard print I did the leopard print today, so that was fun. I had the little summer hat on. I had my leopard print bracelet on. My, It was fun. We did a really fun look today on Instagram, and I'm going to start doing Instagram more and more because I love it, and I keep saying to myself, why am I not going on Instagram more? I need to go on Instagram more. So... Instagram, my name is Diane's Makeup Therapy. That is my page on Instagram. So if you have not liked and followed my page on Instagram, it is time, girls. It's time. All right, I'm going to shut up, and we're going to kind of, we got 43 people in this room right now. If every one of you 43 women go and share me out to one group, one group, that's all I'm asking. Share me out to one of the groups you belong to. Click the share button and start a watch party. And you can go clink, 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 clink down to all the groups you belong to. That 43 people should jump up to almost 100 people and like that. Okay? I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go and plump my lips. I'm going to start doing my eyeliner on my eyes. We're going to put some falsies on tonight. So let's get busy. Did you color your hair today? No. I did not color my hair today, Jen. <laughs> oh, God, no, I didn't. It's so good. Why do you think I'm, I will forever be wearing a wig now until I can dye my hair? I can't find my hair color anymore. Feria 
It's by Feria. If anybody can find it and send it to me, it's by Feria, L'Oreal's Feria, and it's called Cool Amethyst. That's the color. If anybody can find it, please let me know because I've been to two Walmarts and two Walgreens and neither one of them has it. So I was going to go back to brown, but I'm not ready to go back to brown yet. I still like the purple. I like it. I really, really do. Thank you, Miss Lacey. Okay, I'm shutting up. Here we go. Follow and, and just share me out. Mm. 
Okay, we got them on. We got them on. Where is my... Okay, we're going to darken up these eyes much, much more. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Is everybody having a good day? If we get 300 sprinkles in this room, I am giving away my favorite palette, which is right here. This is one that I've been using, and I'm also giving away the white eyeliner that you see on my waterline. So actually, what I'll do is if we hit 300 sprinkles, you're going to get this, the Starry Nights palette, the one that I just showed you, the eyeshadow, or your choice of the Starry Nights or the Eye Thrill palette, which is one of my faves. These were both in the June Beauty Box. The July Beauty Box, $70, girls, $70. You're getting eight products in your beauty box. It's called My Favorite Things. Right down on the bottom is my PayPal account, $70. It includes shipping. You're getting eight products of my favorite things, of all of my makeup, skincare, accessories, hair bows, sunglasses, you name it. Everything that I've loved over my last 30 years in the career of makeup and nail artistry, okay? So it is so worth it. It is so worth it. So let's get to 300 sprinkles. If everybody sprinkles out at least to 10 groups, we will get to 300 sprinkles. It is up to you. Thank you, Miss Kareen. 160 we're at. My, our goal is 300. We're, half, we're over halfway there. So let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going, girls. Okay, I put on my falsies. Put on my falsies. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get these eyes to where they need to be. Okay, we got to get them where they need to be. We got our lips all plumped and ready to go. They are all plumped and ready to go. So I'm going to go and add some more darkness to my eyes because right now, now I need the darkness. Now I need to go in and we need to darken in right in here because this is the area right in there. See that? We got to darken that up. Got to darken it. We want it to look really, really dramatic. So if you don't know me, my name is Diane. I have been a makeup artist um, for about 35 years. A lot of people say, oh, she doesn't even know how long she's been doing it. You know what? I don't know. I really don't know because I wound up going to high school and I took something called BOCES. And BOCES was a trade school that you could go to while being in high school. And you can do nursing or you can learn cosmetology. So that's what I wound up doing. I wound up going in for cosmetology and turns out that I hated doing hair. Hated doing hair. Hated it. Oh, really? That's nice. That's nice, Tia. Thank you. <laughs> so I hated doing hair. Plus, I couldn't stand on my feet all day. It would kill me kill me. So I wound up doing nails and got into nails and I wound up owning two nail salons back in New York. Welcome, Joseph. Thank you. Hey, Eminem. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. So yeah, so I wound up doing nails and I was really heavy into nails back in the 1980s when nails and back scratchers, if anybody remembers back scratcher nails back in the day, that's when the nails were like this long, right? And I used to go and work at the, um, the Jacob Javits Center. I used to go there and do nail competitions. I used to do airbrushing and all that fun stuff back in the day. And then after a while, after owning two salons and doing it, people start saying, hey, I really like the way you do makeup. Can you do my makeup? That's how I started getting into makeup. Then I had a mentor in New York City that really showed me the ropes, that really showed me the ropes and taught me the proper way of makeup application. And there is an art to makeup application. If you want to get it done professionally, there is a way that you have to do makeup, okay? If you're just putting it on every day, who cares how it looks? Who cares? It doesn't matter. But there are certain guidelines, I would say, that will definitely help you become a better makeup artist. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. 
What's your bod look like? Joseph, my bod is rocking. My bod is like stacked, okay? I am like, pfft, let me tell you. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I, oh, my body's ugly? No, my body is not ugly, Mr. Joseph. I have got it going on. For a 54-year-old, I think I got a pretty dang good looking body. So thank you very much for asking. Oh, you should have left them on. I was going to play with them a little while. Let me play with them a little while, will ya? Please. Okay, so let's do our lip liner, and we're going to do some mascara. These lashes are really going to be really, really long. Thank you for sprinkling. Let's get it over 100 people again. We were over 100. We were up to 135. What happened? What happened, girls? What happened? All right, so I'm going to go in with this purple, and I'm going to line my lips. Here we go. This is the dark purple that I used above my eye, and I'm going to line my lips with this purple. Here we go. Straight across on the top. Straight across on the top. What that does is it makes your lips look really, really plump, okay? Oh, uh, thank you, Brittany. I love you so much. Yes, I could play. I'm allowed to play. Okay. And I'm just following my upper lip line. Follow the upper lip line. Okay, see? Straight across, we're good. Straight across, we good. Follow your lower lip line, that's the easy part. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna go into that same exact palette and we're gonna go into the color called Alluring and we're gonna ombre the outside part of the lips. Just a little bit on each side. And you want to make sure that they're even. Got it? We got it. Right? We got it. We got it going on. We got it. Now I'm going to use the color. I don't know what color this is. It is a splash lipstick by Unique. It used to be one of my favorites. It's called striking. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color striking and we're really gonna strike out our eyes and we're gonna come and put some striking right up there in the corner, okay? Same thing up here, because we want our eyes bouncing off of our lips and I always have done this for years and years and years for longer than most of you have probably been alive. So we're gonna come in and we're just gonna blend this in on the outside part of the eye. Blend it in like so. Same thing on the other side. This is a very um, dark look. It's supposed to be, okay? You know that sometimes I'll go really, really dark and sometimes I'll do more of a natural look. Well, tonight is one of those nights where we are going out there, really out there with a lot of vibrant, vibrant bright colors. La, 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 la. I can't talk. So this is a look that a younger person would probably wear. I personally probably would not wear this kind of makeup and the falsies and everything that we're going to do, but it's fun. Why not play with makeup? You've got to play with it, girls. It is so much fun. It brings back memories of childhood, and it's just, it's a great thing. If you don't like it, guess what? You take it off, you start all over again, right? How much sugar is in my coffee? Actually, this is a whole cup. I use one and a half teaspoons of sugar. <laughs> I love sugar. Arr, makes me go crazy. And it's flipping ice cold my coffee because I put it right by the fan and I didn't turn my heater on. God zooks. Blech. All right, let's highlight our eyes. We're going in with our pot bag. We're going to go in with our little uh, concealer and we're just going to go like this. We're going to follow our brow line 
right here and a little bit over here. We don't want to take off that pink, but we want to go into it a little bit and we want to really get right here nice and light because the inside is going to be light. The outside is the part that's really going to be vibrant and dark. So we're going to go in, follow it. We Remember, we didn't even do our brows yet, so we're just coming in. We could be a little sloppy. You don't have to be neat on this part at all. Don't have to be neat. If I'm missing comments, I am sorry. Thank you, Miss Bridget. Thank you, Miss Kareen. Okay, so now we're going to take our blendy brush and we're just going to blend this all in nice and lightly like a windshield wiper. Little circles starting on the inside because we want it light on the inside and then just around. Back and forth. Back and forth. And bring it on the inside. Lighten it up in here. Like so. See? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Same thing with the other side. Little circles on the inside. And around. And around. And around and around we go. And around and around and around and around we go. There you go. Now this one appears a lot lighter. So guess what? All we got to do is go in and just darken it up a little bit. Just darken it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Darken it up a little bit. Same thing with this one. Make sure that they match. And you're just going to do like little teeny circles. Hey, what's your new name for? I don't know yet. I still don't have a name for my business. I still don't have a name. I don't. I still don't have a name for my business. So I'm going in with this iridescent opalescent color. And we're just going to come in here. And we're just going to lighten that up right there. This is a white opal essence got a little bit of a blue tinge to it and we're just putting it right in here and right in here now we're gonna go and use some mascara and i'm gonna use the cheapy mascara because it doesn't really matter and i don't want to waste my favorite my high club mascara so i'm going to come in like this did i just flick it on me i did god zooks look <laughs> It just, see, that's why I don't like this kind of mascara because it just spits and splatters all over the place. Spits and splatters. That's what they should call these mascaras. Spitting and splattering. Okay, so there, look. See how long they got? I'm going to come on this side, get some of the mascara, lift it up. Do, 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 do. We're going to do our bottom lashes. And why do we make a funny face every time we put our mascara on? Why? Why, why, why? Because it has our brain's mechanism, protection mechanism, that as soon as you start coming close to your face with any object, your brain is saying, whoa, step back. You're coming way too close to the eyes and I don't like it. So, whenever you're putting mascara on and you make that funny face, like, that's why it's doing it, okay? That is why. It is your brain saying, yo, get away from the eyeballs. Get away from the eyeballs. All right, now I splatted it all over my nose right here. <laughs> so, let me go and fix it a little bit. Last week on Amazon, Mile High Mascara went up. It did. You know why? Because everybody that I tell is buying it. So, what is it? Um, what's the saying? Um, oh, Lord, help me. Something in demand. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Something in demand. When people want it and people are buying it, the cost is going to go up. It's going to go up, up, up. Right? Right? Because people are buying it. And they say, oh, people are buying it? We might as well raise the price. Go to eBay, 90 sprinkles. That's all we got is 90 sprinkles? I thought we were up to 160. Who said 90 sprinkles? Eminem. Somebody told me we had 160 sprinkles. What's going on? How many sprinkles do we have? We need to know the right number. The right number. We need to know it. Okay, so let's go in and let's contour it's everybody's favorite thing to contour. Top of your ear, 
corner of your lip. Straight line from there to there. I'm going to stop right in the middle of our eyeball. I'm going to go like this. That's it. You don't have to do a lot if you don't want to. Me, I want to. <laughs> Me, I want to. I like my contour dark, especially for a nighttime look. I want my cheeks being on fleek, right? I want them fleeked out. So we're just going to go like this. And we are just going to draw that straight line, top of your ear, corner of your lip. And then start bringing it up to your temple. Up to your temple, girls. 82. Come on, let's get over 100. Let's get that over 100. Let's start sprinkling out. Get that word out. Let everybody know I'm here. I am here. I had 160 shares when I was plumping or 160 people. I'm talking shares. I ain't talking people. I ain't talking people. Okay, so let's go from our brow straight down the side of our nose, the bridge of our nose, right? Same thing on the other side, straight down the bridge of our nose. Like so. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I have that little beak. I got a beak. So, like the birds have the beak, it got the beak. I want to make sure that that beak is not there anymore. So, I'm going to shorten up my nose by adding contour underneath and across the top of my nose. Oh, okay. I had 160 people in the room when I was doing that. Gotcha. Well, we need them back in here. So, let's go, girls. Let's go, girls. It shouldn't be any time that I just go and use the lip plumper that people come in and then they leave after I'm done. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. Hey, yo, that ain't right. I'm telling you right now, that ain't good. So thank you for all the hearts. Thank you for sprinkling the hearts around. You sprinkled the four groups. Thank you, Miss Shug. Let's go get rid of those jowls. Get rid of that jaw that we don't like get rid of that double chin everybody should know how to contour if you have been watching me for years you should know how to contour by now it is the same for an oval shaped face if you have a round shaped face let me know i will do contouring for a round shaped face number one do you know what shape your face is do you have a heart shaped face do you have an oval do you have a round what shape is your face? Let me hear it, girls. Sherry, what kind of face do you have? What shape? Amanda, Danielle, Tracy, Stacy, all you girls, what shape face do you have? And do you know how to contour your shape face? That's, what, that's a good question. That's a good question. What kind of mascara do I use? I use... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wander Beauty Mile High Club. It is the best ever, ever. Not only is it the best ever because it elongates and strengthens your lashes, okay? It is also great because it's a tube, a squeezy tube, where you can warm up your mascara and you never have to worry about popping it and pumping your mascara tube and putting in bacteria and dirt and air, Okay, you can cover your whole wand, your whole spoolie by just going like this. Just going like this. So you're getting everything to the very last bottom drop of mascara that's in here. It will never dry out on you, ever. Unlike tubes that are like this. Tubes that are like this. I got the troll. Where's the troll? Too much makeup. Yoli, thank you for your opinion. That really matters. It really makes... Definitely, definitely, I appreciate your opinion. I'm not done yet, so if you want to sit back, relax, and chill out, then you can tell me if you think I have too much makeup on when I'm done. I'm not done yet, so you could sit back, your choice, or you can leave. Either one. Oh, one thing I will say... Oh, thank you, booze. Thank you for saying you love my nails. One thing I will say is I demand respect in this room. If you don't respect me and you come in with a nasty attitude, you're gone, okay? I'm nice to you. You play nice in the sandbox with me. That's the way it goes. If you don't want to play nice, it's bye-bye. My admins will take care of you. So that's the way it is. 
Thank you, Miss Teresa. I appreciate it. So I'm going back in with my highlight. Going back in with my highlight. And if you don't know me, I have been doing makeup for over 35 years. I've worked in Manhattan as a professional makeup artist. And if you need any help with any kind of makeup, let me know. Especially the most important thing is contouring. If you don't know how to contour, guess what? You're not going to have the shape face that you want. Your, your face is not going to make a dramatic change. Maybe you don't want a dramatic change. You know what? Maybe you do not want a dramatic change. But I will say this. I will say this. If you don't know how to contour a round-shaped face to make it look oval, you're never going to have a model-esque oval-looking face. You have to know where to contour, how much to contour, my contour around my cheeks like to bring out my cheekbones okay that's awesome Gabrielle that is awesome I would love to see pictures of you guys with your makeup on I would love to do it and if you can send me pictures of you with your makeup on I will post you on my page I will every day pick somebody I will pick somebody every day and highlight them as somebody that did an incredible job with their makeup, okay? I think that would be fun, don't you? This way, you're getting kudos. You're getting the kudos. You're getting the kudos because you're doing things right. You're making your makeup look great. You're making your face look awesome. Thank you, Clara. Okay, so we're going to come down the nose. We're going to go into the dark, back into the light, around and up. That's the teardrop right here that we are working on to make our cheeks come up. Okay, same thing over here. As we come down the nose, we're coming up. We're not coming across our cheek because we want this whole cheekbone looking like this. It's not going to remain like that. So whoever said I had too much makeup on, everything gets blended. Just remember that. Okay, and like I said earlier, this is not a look that I would use on a daily basis. Every night when you come on my lives, I am doing a different look for a different age group maybe, or for a different facial shape. It's totally up to me. Every night I do a different look, different age group. Somebody might not wear makeup like this that's in their 50s, okay? I'm 54. I would not particularly wear my makeup looking like this every night, every day. I would not do it. Uh, once in a blue moon, if I wanted to go out and be wild child, absolutely. Play with makeup. That's what I always say. You have to play with it. Okay, we put dark underneath our bottom lip because we want it to look bigger. Highlight the chin because what that's going to do is it's going to create that chiseled jawline. We did the light right down here and we're just going to do a smile right here. Smile around and smile back up. Smile here and around and up that's all you do now look at the chisel jawline it's dark and it comes up it's model-esque it's not manly so you know what i've had trolls come on and go oh you got an adam's apple you got a male chin you got a male jawline screw you all okay because you have no clue makeup okay that's all i gotta say to the trolls so I didn't even do my brows yet. I don't even know why I didn't do my brows yet, but I'm just going to go and blend this in a little bit so it doesn't look like I'm wearing too much makeup. God forbid I'm wearing too much makeup because then the trolls come around and go, oh, she looks like a clown. I am using a kabuki brush. Kabuki brushes are the best brushes ever. Gabrielle, you can send them right on here. Anybody that wants to send their pictures with their makeup, send them on here. And tomorrow... Listen, tomorrow, if, you, if I get enough pictures tonight, tomorrow I will post who, one of you, whoever I think did a really great job on their makeup, I will post you on this page. And I will say, um, highlighting, um, today I am highlighting Mary Reynolds with her makeup look. I think it looks fantabulous the way that she did her eyes and the way that she contoured, excuse me, her cheeks. I love the way she made her lips look and lined her lips. Something like that. I will, I, if, if enough of you send me pictures with you with your makeup on, I will highlight somebody tomorrow. And I think that that will be great. I think it'll be fun. 
All right, so we're going to go in with our blush. And remember, blush, hot pink tonight. We're going hot pink. Why are we going hot pink? Because I am very bright on my face. I need some color on my cheeks other than the contour. So like I said, we're going to go and add a lot of product to this brush. Tons of product. Look at all that product on that brush. See it? That's a lot of product. Tap it out. Don't be afraid to have a lot of products on the brush because, oh, that's awesome, Danielle. We're going to go in and we're just going to tap where we just contoured. Just where we contoured. Tap that pink, that hot pink, baby, into the contour. First step. Make sure you got that brush loaded. I mean loaded. Load that brush up. Same thing with the other side. Follow that contour. That's why I leave that line. That's why I leave that line a lot of times because it gives you something to follow, okay? It gives you something to follow. Good grief. Good grief, Alice. Another troll. Oh, my goodness. Brush your teeth. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Your breath is stinking, Patty. Holy shit. Get Patty out of here, will you? Patty poo-poo head. Get Patty poo-poo head out of here. Lord... She is. She's just a nasty troll. You know, sometimes you get the trolls in here that's like, ah, whatever. You know what? I was not blessed with good teeth. Sorry, I'm not perfect. Nobody in this world's perfect, Miss Patty. If I hate to tell you, and this is, I know this might be an awakening for you, but nobody's perfect in this world. Nobody but the guy right up there, upstairs. He's the perfect one. He's the one that we try to emulate and make ourselves be a good person, a giving person, an empathetic person. Not people like you that bring people down and are plain old nasty, okay? That's why I get rid of people like that. I don't like it. Don't like them, don't like them, don't like them. And they are, have no place in my room. No place in this room at all. If you come in here, you want to be uplifted, you want to be happy, you want to smile, you want to be like whoop, 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 you want to dance, do whatever you want, be crazy, say whatever you want, but be positive. Because you know what? Somebody might be having a really fucking shitty day, okay? Like me today. I had a really shitty day, okay? But guess what? You would never know. You would never know because I came on here and I am giving it my all for you. Because I love you guys and I want you to learn how to do makeup. I want you to know that even if you are having one of the most shitty days going, that you can change it around like that. Because guess what? I'm not having such a shitty day anymore. I am feeling great because of all you girls on here. Karen Marie, Belinda, Gabrielle, Hazel, Tia, Jumps, Rosie, all my girls that come on here every single day, that's what makes my whole attitude change. I had the worst day today, and guess what? I'm feeling great. I am feeling so much better right now. So if any of you are having a bad day, I hope and I pray that you feel the same way, that you might come in here being like, man, man, what a freaking horrible day. Work sucked. Me and my husband argued. The kids drove me crazy. Whatever it was, the dog shit on the carpet, peed on the rug, whatever, right? The cat scratched me. I don't know. There was nothing to watch on TV. I don't know what it was. But you know what? When you come on here, I want you to be happy. I want you to be uplifted. I want you to know that you are worthy. You are worth every bit of love that you deserve. Every bit. Thank you, Shaky. I don't worry about the nasty people. I, I, I pray for the bad people. That's what I've learned. I, it doesn't matter to me, the nasty people. I pray for them because you know what? This world, the way things are going right now, it is so effed up with the, the Black Lives Matter, with All Lives Matter, with the police and what's going on and the looting and the rioting and everything that's going on with our kids not being able to go to school. Our kids can't even go to school right now. And I don't even have, my daughter's 33. I mean, think about it. It just amazes me. It amazes me that people have the nerve to come on here and be nasty and just add to 
what's going on in this world already. Instead of trying to turn it around and make things better and lighten things up, they're just adding to the problem. They're just adding to the freaking problem. So any trolls that come in here and you want to open your fucking mouth, take a step that way. Step it out. Step it right out because I don't need that bullshit in here. So anyway, let's get back to our blush. So I'm going in with the blush and I'm going to go right to the apples of my cheeks. And my body temperature is going to heat this blush up. So even if it looks like it's really bright, guess what? Once my body temperature heats it up, it's going to settle down the color. It's going to make it look less bright. That's right. We need things that are going to be making us happy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if you are new in here, I'm sorry that you heard me use my trashy New York mouth. But you know what? I don't deal with bullshit well. I don't deal with bullshit and I don't like nasty people. I don't like people that are nasty to me. I don't like people that are nasty to other people. You know why? Because you are not perfect. You were not born perfect, okay? You were born with flaws. And as you get older, you develop more and more um, ways about you. And it's going to either be on the good side or it's going to be on the bad side. And you know what? The people that come in here have shit to say. They have a lot of issues. They got issues. So you know what? I pray for them. I really do. I pray that God will bestow something on them that will make them change and become a better person. Because you know what? They're just, they're just lost. They are lost in this world and they have nowhere to go. And they have nothing better to do than talk bad about other people and not look at themselves. So that's the way it is for me. And I'm sticking to it. Oh, thank you, Cameron Marie. Oh, welcome, Clara, Clara, Clara. Don't mind me right now because I am sweating my ass off. <laughs> I am sweating my ass off because once you get me worked up, girls, I am. Mm, mm, mm. Don't get Diane worked up. Don't get Diane worked up because you know what? Diane is not a happy camper when she's got to go and boot people. I don't like booting people out of my room. I don't like booting people out of my room. I love having everybody in here, but you know what? I demand respect in my room. This is my room. This ain't your room. You want to be an asshole? Go open up your own room and curse people out and be mean and nasty and trollish. All right, so let me get back in here. I think I'm going to grab, as a matter of fact... I'm going to go in with a little bit of purple because I love purple. And I'm going to use my teeth right now. Don't look. Don't do this at home. Do not try this at home. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Hold on. I know. And everybody's going, oh, here she goes with the sparkles. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I keep saying every day that I can't get sparkles out of my hair. And what do I do? I go and add more sparkles. I do. So let me go in and get my sparkle primer. Where's my sparkle primer? Lord, it's somewhere over here. That is not it. That is not it. That is not it. Where's my primer? Uh-oh, I got a ding-a-ling. My ding-a-ling. Your ding-a-ling. <laughs> I got it. Hold on. It's here somewhere. I swear to you. I swear to you. I swear to you. I got the primer here somewhere. Somewhere it's here. Lord. You know, ever since I moved down to North Carolina, I will tell you one thing. I'm saying, Lord, have mercy a lot. A lot. Newbie's watching. Hello. Thank you, Miss Belinda. I love you. I'm just adding a little bit of our uh, chromatic to our lips. They were a little on the purple side, but now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add, if I can freaking find my primer. Where did my primer go? <laughs> God, zooks. I know I got it. Let's look. Let's let's just be patient. Diane never has any patience. 
Here we go. I knew I had it. I knew I had it. Yes, I knew I had it. Okay, we're going to go and add some purple sparkles to our eyes. We're going to go. We're going to go for it. Let's go for broke. We're going to go right in here, and we're going to go right on this line right here. We're going to add some sparkles. I'm going to go in with my brush. Let me find my brush. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to grab some of these purple sparkles. And we're just going to pat them in. We're just going to pat them in. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I think that looks pretty. I think that looks pretty. I don't know who's messaging me, but whoever's messaging me, you're being a pain in my ass. You're being a pain in my ass. Oh, uh, thank you, Karen. All right, other side. Here we go. Make one line. One line across. One line across. There we go. Let's add. Why do I got that song in my head? Love in an elevator. Why do I got that song from Aerosmith in my head? Maybe because of the Mile High Club mascara. I don't know. I got that song in my head all day today. Loving an elevator. Don't know why. Don't know why. That looks so pretty. Lord, you know how long it's going to take me to get these sparkles off? That's all I know. It's going to take me forever and a day. Forever and a day. <laughs> Lord. I think it looks pretty, though. Don't you think? I think it looks pretty. We're just going to be glistening. We're going to be glistening all over the place. Okay. Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. How are you, my Cecile girl? Cecile, I missed you. I've been missing you, my girl. Where you been? Where you been? Where you been, Cecile? All right, we're going to smoke this out a little bit more underneath. We're smoking it out. Smoking it out. Uh-oh, we got somebody else, a, another guy in here that just has nothing better to do with his time. You know what? Just leave him. Just leave him. Leave him be. Boys like to play. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Sherry. You tell him, Sherry. Sherry. Sherry, baby. Sherry. Sherry, baby. Sherry, baby. We got to do our brows still. We still got to do the brows. I am sparkly. Ain't I sparkly? I am sparkly tonight. Sherry, won't you come out tonight? Come, come, come out tonight. Was not leaving that guy. It was ew. Oh, he was an ew guy. I didn't know he was a new guy. Not a new guy, but an ooh guy. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got I got to find something for my sherry. Hold on. Uh. Hold on. Lord. I don't know why it does this all the time. I don't know. But it's my my phone is just it sucks ass sometimes. So we just gotta be patient. Just gotta be patient. You had a watch party going. Thank you, Boo Boo. One sixteen on the sprinkles. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. I know we can do it. 
I knew that you could. I knew that you could. Here we go, Sherry. Ready? Come on, Sherry. You come out tonight. Come, come. That's okay. Let them comment. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Sherry, can't you come out tonight? Why don't you come on? <laughs> Come on, we'll dance the night away. Woo! Baby, Sherry, can you come out tonight? Come out tonight, sing it. You better ask your mother. Tell her everything is all right. Why don't you come on? Woo! Come on, girls. Get in a good mood. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Play it nice and easy. I'm going to... You make me lose my mind. Woo! I'm sure this part of the video is going to get deleted. It always does. So it's all right. Whoever's in here right now will appreciate it. Come, come out tonight. Come, come, come out tonight. Oh, thank you, Miss Bridget. I love you. I love you, Miss Bridget. Okay, let's bake. Let's bake. Mm -mm. Let's bake. Let me find my baking spray. Did it fall on the floor again? Cheers, Zuta. It did. It fell on the floor again. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Time for a stretch, everybody. Time to get up. Let's stretch. Ready? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Because <laughs> I've been sitting on my ass all day long. All day long. Oh, look at look at my headband. I think we'll leave it like that. I think we'll leave it like that. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Look at that sparkle. Woo! I wish I had some diamonds that that diamonds that sparkled like that. I finally took a shower out the pool. 125 on the sprinkle dinkles. Thank you girls for sprinkling to all your public groups. Let's go and start baking, shall we? We're gonna start baking. Where's my Angie bin? Where is Angie bin? That's what I wanna know. Remember Angie? Where is Angie bin? I have not seen Angie, now that I'm thinking about songs that we play. I haven't seen Angie's. Anybody seen Angie? I have not seen Angie in quite a while. Right, Tia? Jumps? Rosie? I have not seen her in, I don't know. It's got to be like two weeks now. It's got to be like two weeks. I do. I got my cold ass coffee. My cold coffee, Candace, I got. It's disgusting. And you know what? I can't. I can't do coffee anymore at night. I realized I cannot do coffee anymore at night. I used to be able to drink coffee till 3 in the morning, go to bed, and fall asleep like a baby. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, so there's the bacon and eggs. We're going to sit here for a second, and we're just going to let it sit on our face. We're just going to let it sit there for a couple of seconds. Doesn't this look pretty? 
Ain't this so pretty? <laughs> All right, so let me go and put my tweezers away. And I'm going to go and do another coat of my lashes. I'm going to go and use my, my fave. I got to use my fave. No, right? I haven't seen her. Maybe if anybody is friends with her, maybe you can message her and see if everything's okay. Because she was always in here, Miss Angie. I used to play the song by the Rolling Stones for her, and I haven't seen her. And I just, I, li I would like to know why she hasn't been in the room. If, is it because somebody said something to her that maybe she got offended by something? If that's the case, I would love to be able to speak to her and apologize on their behalf, on the asshole's behalf. Um, because you know what? This room, I love having a good time, but I also want to make sure that everybody's having a good time and that nobody gets offended by me. Because sometimes I could be a little out there too. You know what I mean? I could be a little out there. So I just want to make sure that she's okay. That everybody, if you notice anybody that usually comes in here, I think you need more. Really, Amy? Thank you. I will take that into consideration. Thank you very much. Um, so, anywho... Um, if anybody knows anybody that used to come in here and doesn't come in here or you haven't seen them, please let me know because you don't even know, like with this whole COVID thing, like God forbid, right? So just let me know. Just let me know. I hope she's okay too. Is Amy another one? Another one what? I don't know what that means. I'm going to go and I'm going to start taking this bacon off. <laughs> taking the bacon off. And it's going to make my face so lovely. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Down the neck. Don't forget down the neck. Isn't she sexy? Isn't she beautiful? Okay, let's go and do it all over our face. Blend all over the face, girls. Blend and blend. Blendy blend. We didn't even do our brows yet. Holy crap, you keep forgetting to do the brows. Keep forgetting to do the brows. Okay, let me grab my brow palette because if I don't do my brows now, I'm never going to do them. Where did I put my brow palette? Holy crap. Um, did they fall too? Did that palette, maybe that palette fell too. <laughs> Hold on. Um... Lord, let me see if there's a brown in here. There is. I'm just going to use a brown eyeshadow because I can't find my brow palette. I can't find my brow palette, so I'm just going to use a brown eyeshadow. And this palette, the real her, number two, was in the June Beauty Box as well. So if you want the July Beauty Box, make sure you click the link below. It's $70. You're getting eight fantabulous favorites my favorite things over the last 30 years of doing makeup you're gonna get hair accessories you're gonna get sunglasses you're gonna get jewelry you're gonna get skincare you're gonna get eyeshadow you're gonna get mascara you're gonna get lippy you're gonna get all these great things another clown in the house send in the clowns send in the clowns <laughs> Oh, gosh, we're getting a lot of clowns in here tonight. We're going with the color Unshakable. Alaska? Is she from Alaska? No, Sandra, are you from Alaska? You're not from Alaska, boo. Are you from Alaska? All right, we're going to arch these out a little bit. Who's from Alaska? Go ahead. Start, start making me wish I was in Alaska right now. So we're going to darken these brows up because we want our eyes to stand out. 
So I'm going in with the dark brown and I'm just gonna arch them up and just round them. We're just rounding them tonight, okay? We still ombre because we don't want boxy brows. So we're just gonna come halfway in and round them out. Make sure that you measure them good, right? See the difference? Look at the difference with brows. <laughs> 128 sprinkles. Sandra's from Texas. She's from Texas. She got that droll from Texas. She's my Texas girl. She's my girl. If I go to visit my daughter in Texas, I'm going to go meet her. I'm going to go meet her. We're going to meet down on the street. We're gonna meet, we're gonna meet. Sherry, can you come out tonight? Sherry, can you come out tonight and meet me for coffee? Can you meet me for a cup of coffee, maybe? Maybe, baby. Okay, see the brow? See the brow? Mm-hmm. Sugar sweet. Sugar ain't sweet. She she acts like she's sweet, but sugar ain't sweet. <laughs> I gotta come and visit Yorkshire. Hey, hey, California, hey. Yo, California's in the house. California's in the house. Say hello, California girl. The East Coast girls are hip. I really dig the styles they wear. My brother lived in California for many years, many years. I love California. Love California. If it wasn't so dang expensive, I would probably be living in San Diego right now. I probably would. Hi, Miss Randy Gale. Hello, Miss Randy Gale. How are you, Miss Randy Gale? I hope Miss Randy Gale is doing fine. Let's go and fix these brows. Let's ombre these brows up. Okay, there is the one side. Now, like I said, and like that troll had said, wow, you're wearing way too much makeup. You know what? This is a playful look. It's a playful look for me. Will I ever wear this out? Maybe if I'm going out somewhere like crazy. But at 54 years old, I wanted to play. And this is my room, and I get to play. So, did I want to go and put all these flippin' sparkles all over my face again? Absolutely not. But you know what? Sparkles make people happy and smile. Look. Oh, Sherry, really? Boo. Ashton, no, were you a man? Are you a man, Ashton? I'm just curious because if you don't know the difference between a man and a woman, you got some issues, honey. You got some issues. Thank you, Pearl. That's right. I'm better than a man. I'm better than a man. <laughs> I am so much better than a man. Listen, I could, I could take care of myself. Thank you very much. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. Do 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 I know, Randy. I am just in... Listen, and I just said, I was in the crappiest mood today. The worst day ever. I felt like shit. The day was just like a really bad day for me. A really bad day for me. But guess what? I got you guys now. You made me happy. You made me like... So happy. <laughs> Am I going out on the town tonight? I wish I had all of you here and I would definitely go out on the town with you girls. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would go out with every one of you tonight. Scott Christopher. Hot date. Who's a hot date? I'm a hot date. He's a hot date. Is he a hot date? Do you know him? Do you know him? 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Chris, Scott Christopher, what? I don't know what you said to me. Don't let these girls answer for me because they, sometimes they kind of like don't tell the truth, okay? Sometimes they spread the truth a little bit thin. I think so. But um, whatever you said, I'm probably way too old for you. That's all I got to say. I'm probably way too old. That's all I got to say about that, okay? I am way too old for most of the young boys that come in this room. And you know what? If they're looking for a sugar mama, I am certainly not their sugar mama. Absolutely not. <laughs> Lord, first time here. Uh-oh, wait, who was that? Candicella. Oh, thank you, Candace. You're a sweetie. Coffee. I know. I'm a New Yorker. I got to say it. Coffee. I am. I am. Thank you so much. I hate my accent, though. I absolutely hate it. Absolutely. Absolutely, Lutely. Oh, see? He's being nice. He just asked if I was going out for a night on the town. Scott, no. I am not going out on a night on the town because, number one, I don't have a date. I don't have a date. I need a date to go out on a night on the town. I'm not going by myself, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. So, no, I am not going anywhere. I come on here every night and I do this, Chris, Scott, Chris, what's your name again? Scott. Um, I come on here every night, Scott, just to make people happy and laugh and lighten up what's going on in the world. So if you, if you want to stay on here, you're more than welcome. I have guys that come on here all the time and I have some guys that come on here and we have a blast. And then we have the asshole men that come on here and they think who they are and they think they can get away with being nasty and rude and disrespectful to women. And I just have to boot their ass into tomorrow. So it's your choice what you want to do and how you want to be in my room. But like I said, you're more than welcome to be in here. It doesn't matter to me. Um, we talk makeup. We talk daily living. We talk everything from dating to hating women to hating men to life in general to what's going on in this world and how to make it better so it's totally up to you boogaloo <laughs> totally up to you so we just baked and now i gotta look at my face i gotta look at my face oh no Gotta look at the face and I gotta see where we need some more makeup because even though it looks like I got a lot of makeup on, which I do, I have a lot of makeup on, I gotta make sure that it's even because when I go and take my selfies, guess what? Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much. Hello to all the newbies in the room. Welcome, newbies. Let us know where you're from. Make sure you go up and like and follow my page. Tap my nose. Follow, see first. Go up to the top of my page. Make sure that you like it. Um, also, you can be on my YouTube channel, which is Diane Watson. My Instagram is Diane's Makeup Therapy. All one word. Diane with two N's. Diane, Diane's Makeup Therapy. <laughs> I had to think about that. Diane's Makeup Therapy is my Instagram. Follow me on there. Go on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel, Diane Watson. All of my videos are on there, as well as on here. All my pictures are on Instagram. Um, I actually did a live on Instagram today. Um, I am, right now, I am in Cary, North Carolina, originally from Long Island, New York. Originally from Long Island, New York, and I will always and forever be a New Yorker at heart. I will never lose my accent, and I will certainly never say y'all. Can't say y'all. My mouth just don't go that way. My mouth just don't go that way. So we're going to go here. And we're just going to go and fix our eyeliner because that is going to show up in the pictures. That's going to show up in the pictures. And we're going to come in here. And we're just doing the eyeliner. Scott lives in North Carolina. Scott, how old are you? <laughs> oh, 
I gotta let this dry. I got to let this dry. You're 10 minutes from Charlotte, Sherry. That's awesome. Oh, I'm not far from Fayetteville, Tammy. Not at all. Not at all. You're probably an hour from me. Jersey. Scott's from Jersey. He's a Jersey boy. Scott, how is it in Jersey today? Was it hot? I know that I spoke with my brother on Long Island. He said it was like really hot on Long Island. It was hot here. It was like 91 degrees. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Hello, Teresa LaPlante. How are ya? Christine, how are ya? You guys, I always say that. That's just a given, Christine. I never can say y'all. It's always what are you guys doing? It's not what y'all doing. Y'all. My mouth don't go that way. It never has, never will. It'll never go that way. Ever, 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 ever. Um, and you know what? I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what's going on. I might move to Jersey. I might move to New York. I might move. I don't know where. I have not decided where I'm going yet. I have not decided where I am going yet. So, don't know. Don't know. It all depends where God wants me to be, I guess. Where God leads me to. Because right now, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I don't. I don't know where I'm going. But I know I'm going. I know I'm going somewhere. Don't know where yet. Don't know where yet. Oh, so you're from Jersey, but you live in North Carolina, Scott. Where in North Carolina are you? Where in North Carolina are you? I'm just going to go and add a little bit of light under here. Because I feel like I need some light. Where in North Carolina? Are you near Charlotte or are you near Raleigh? Where are you? And I'm just going to have to go in with my other brush. Nikita! 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 Nikita is from my high school in Long Island. She's one of my high school girls that I went to high school with. Oh, you're in Charlotte, Scott? You're far from me. You're like, I don't know, what is it to carry to Raleigh? Like three hours, I guess, something like that. Something like that, I would think. I don't know, because I've never been to Charlotte. Can you believe it? I have been living here, I don't know how long, seven years now, and I've never been to Charlotte. I heard it's beautiful, though. I want to go and check out that big lake. What is it called, Scott? That big lake by Charlotte. Oh, Lord. What's the name of that lake? I love you too, Miss Nikita. I love you, girl. So I don't remember the name of the lake. I will think of it, or you will remind me the name of the lake. I forgot the name of it. God dang it. Oh, Lake Norman. Lake Norman. That's where I want to go. I want to go there, and I want to see the lake. Sherry, Sherry, baby, Sherry. Do you live near Lake Norman, Scott? Sherry, Sherry, baby. It is very nice. It is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's beautiful. Let's roll our little pot bag. Roll the little pot bag. So this is the look, girls. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Lake Norman. There you go, Scott. There you go. Lake Norman. 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 Wasn't there a song, Norman? I'm 20 minutes from Lake Norman. Are you, Sherry? Is it beautiful there? Is it beautiful there? Because you know what? I could always move over there. I could always leave and move over that way. Because that's where I originally wanted to move. I originally wanted to move by Lake Norman. That was the plan. 
But you know what happens with plans? <laughs> we can take out. We could take the boat out. You got a boat, Scott? Scott, you look really, really young. You look like you could be my son, Scott. How old are you? What is the brush you was using? On my hair or on my face? I have my wig brush. I got this brush. Or on my face. I'm using the Kabuki brush from Unique. That's the brush that I've been using for my foundation is the Kabuki brush. Any kind of Kabuki brush is awesome. You don't want to get something that is not a Kabuki brush because it's not going to last. It will never last. Yeah, it's a Kabuki brush. No more boat adventures for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike, thank you. I hope that everybody sprinkles out, shares me out to your public groups. Um, if you're Italian like me, ciao a tutti, come stai, tutto bene. I hope everybody's good, Italian. You had your pasta, you had your macaroni for dinner. Um, oh my God, he's so young. Scott, you could be my son. You could be my son, Scott, but that's okay. We could be friends. We could be friends. <laughs> but yes, my daughter is actually 33. So yeah, you can be my son if you want. I could adopt you. I could adopt you. But yeah, so um, what was I going to say? I don't even remember what I was going to say. I was going to say something, but I lost my train of thought when I saw 32. <laughs> It's beautiful. A lot of NASCAR is huge. I know. I know. I know. Jesse jumps. No, Jesse likes girls. We can't hook Jesse up. We can't hook Jesse up. Jesse likes girls. She likes girls. She likes pretty girls in her thirties, like her age. No old ladies. Nothing like that. Somebody in her age range. Yes. Look at this. It's like falling off of my head. It's falling over my head. A hundred and twenty nine sprinkles. I'll take it. I'll take it. The more sprinkles that you can give. Listen, we got fifty four people in this room. If every one of you fifty four people that half of you are not even saying hello or talking, um, share me out to ten groups. Start a watch party. That fifty four should jump up to one hundred and four. So let's see everybody sprinkle and share because there's a lot of newbies in here that have not sprinkled and shared and spread the love yet. So let's try and get this room up to 100 people again. Bridget, even 39, I'm 54. Hello, hello. Is that kind of like robbing the cradle a little bit? I think so. I think that's like robbing the cradle just a little bit. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Mike. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. Where are you from, Mike? I know, Bridget, you go nuts all on the sprinkle and dinkle and sprinkle, sprinkle me away. Sprinkle me away. Age is just a number. You know... It is just a number, but when it comes to date, okay, let's let's discuss this really quickly because I don't even remember, I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. Holy crap. No, it's only 1030. Okay. Dating somebody younger. Is it, it's okay for a woman to date a younger guy, like let's say 39. I'm just using it as an example, Scott. Nothing here, nothing, you know, nothing like that. But when a guy that's in his 50s dates somebody in their early 30s, it's cool. The guy is cool. Cool beans, right? He's dating a younger, gorgeous girl. But when you got a 54-year-old woman 
and she's dating a guy in his early 30s. It's like, dang, what is she doing with that young guy? She's just robbing the cradle, right? It is a double standard. Oh, Roberta, how are you, lovely, gorgeous soul of mine? How are you? But it's a double standard. So is it okay for women to date guys like half their age or not even, maybe a little older than half their age? But why is it okay for a guy that's, let's say, 55 to date a girl that's 30, but a woman, a woman that's 55, why can't she date a guy that's 30? What's wrong with the picture here? What's wrong? Right? Got, Scott, what do you think about it, Scott? Let's let's get some input on a guy's point of view. Your hubby is nine years younger, Pearl, really, and you're seven years older than your husband. Well, seven years, you know, seven, I'd say up to 10 years is not so bad. Once you start going 15 to 20 years, that's a big age gap. That's a big age gap. And what does a 30-something-year-old guy want with a 54-year-old woman? That's my question. What does he want with a 54-year-old woman? Experience? I don't know. Answer me. What do you think? I miss you too, Roberta girl. I miss you too. Thirty six years older than your mom. Holy crud, Batman. <laughs> Holy crud, Batman. That's a big age difference. That's a big age difference. Oh, Scott, I love you. I love you, Scott. Great answer. Great answer because I have so many friends that are gay and I love them. They Listen, Scott, anytime you want to go shopping, let me know. Because <laughs> all of my gay friends, I love going shopping with them. My gay friends that are men, my gay men friend, friends, friends, um, they can dress me to the freaking hilt. Go dress, go dress shopping, clothes shopping with girlfriends. Not the same. Men that are gay have the best sense of style. I will say that till the day I die. Till the day I die. And I welcome all men in this room. I welcome all drag queens in this room. I would love to be able to have a man that is a drag queen come on my live with me on a dual video and do makeup with me. If anybody knows a male drag queen that is willing to come on my live with me and do a dual live, I would love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Sherry, you would think so, right? You would think so. I don't know. You know what? It depends on the guy. Some guys just suck. <laughs> some guys are really good and some guys just suck. Just like women. Some women are really good. Some women really suck. It all depends. Listen, I just, I just love all people. I just love all people. I don't care whether you're gay, straight, bi, um, trans. I don't care what you are. If you have a good heart and soul, that's all that, that's all I care about. I don't care your sexual preference in the least, in the least. Hey, Robin, how are you? Real, Scott, if you're serious, I know that you're laughing with your LOL at the end. Listen, tell them to come in here. I swear, please, please, I'm begging you. If you do know of any that are really good with their makeup, please send them in here. I would do a live with them in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. That's right, a good heart, that's all that matters to me. If you're gonna be an asshole, there's no, there's no point in talking to me, that's for sure. I'm glad you're doing good, Miss Robin. 
Thank you, Courtney. My eyes are a little bloodshot right now because I'm getting a little tired. I woke up real early this morning. Like I said, I had the worst day today, and that's no joke. I had the worst day. Health-wise, emotional, um, all different ways, I had a really bad day. I came on here, and it just lightened up. You just lighten my hearts, girls. You really do. Thank you, Scott. So, Scott, are you with somebody presently? Are you with somebody? And how long have you been with them? Because I got to ask. I always ask everybody, not just because you are gay. My dad was born in 1919 and my mom in 1955. They met when she worked in a cafe where he lodged. And his girlfriend hit 16. She fought with his girlfriend because she wanted him. Really? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Because she wanted him. She was determined. Thank you, Danielle. Yes, well, like I said, somebody that's in their 40s, I would go with. I would. Somebody in their 40s. 40 and over. 40 is my limit. But they also have to have the right intentions. Why would they want to date a 54-year-old woman? Right? Um... I would also go up to 60. I think that I'm a young 54. So if I met somebody that was 60 and they had they were young at heart and physically young, I think that that would be okay. Um, if they were an old fogey 60, no, that wouldn't be happening. You've been with somebody for a year and a half. Good for you, Scott. I wish you nothing but happiness, babe. Absolutely. And I'm on here every night at 9 o'clock Eastern, every night. Please make sure you tap my nose, you follow me, invite all your friends, share me out to all of your groups, all the groups you belong to, let them all know, start a watch party for me, and come and join me. Make sure you like my page up top. Come and join every night at 9 o'clock if you have nothing better to do. I'm 56 and he's 48. 50, 48, 50. Okay, so what, eight years, right? Is that my, no, wrong. 48, 58. Yeah, eight years. That's not bad. That's not bad. But like I said, I need somebody that's going to be giving, loving, caring, yet masculine, knows what he wants in life, takes the bull by the horns, and runs with it. I don't need a wimpy guy. I don't need somebody that's going to talk down to a woman, be mean, be cruel with words. Um, a professional that knows what he wants in life or already has it and is just running with it. That's what I need. I'm 45. I wish I was 45. I feel like, sometimes I feel like I'm 35. Sometimes I feel like I'm 85. It all depends. <laughs> it all depends on the day. Some days I feel really young and other days I feel like I can't get my ass off the couch, okay? But I think that a lot of people are like that. I think a lot of people, sometimes you just are being lazy, right? Sometimes, not even lazy. Some days you just want to take it easy and other days you've got a ball of energy that you just got to let out. Like I've been today, like I was last night. Um, I really wasn't like that today. I was not feeling well today. And I really had a bad emotional, um, mental day today. A mental day. I guess that's the way to put it. Not like mental, duh. Uh, mental where it was just, I have to make some decisions in my life. And it's really just um, weighing heavy on my heart, weighing heavy on my brain. So, I am looking for somebody that is caring and giving and loving and is looking for the same thing that I'm looking for. Somebody that's going to respect you and let you be the best version of yourself and be a cheerleader. Be my biggest cheerleader so I can be yours. Be my king so I can be your queen. And that's the way that I look at it. You know what? If you're going to treat somebody like a queen, she will treat you like a king. 
Absolutely. It goes both ways. It is not 50-50. No relationship is 50-50. Every single relationship, whether it's girl-girl, guy-girl, girl-girl, whatever, it's 100% and 100%. If you're not willing to give 100% of yourself, you are certainly not going to get it back. So that's the way I look at it. Everybody says, oh, relationships are 50-50. Bullshit. You can't give 50% of yourself and expect a full, loving relationship for life. A lifetime partner. A best friend. You've got to give 100%. So if anybody knows somebody, send them my way. Michael from Massachusetts, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining my page. Thank you for joining me. I'm on here every night at 9 o'clock. Um, we're talking about dating. We're talking about what men want, what women want um, out of a relationship and what you're willing to put up with, what you're not willing to put up with. Um, there's, there's a lot of people that are willing to put up with a lot of shit. And listen, I've been married, I've been divorced, and I know what I want and I know what I'll put up with and I know what I'm not going to put up with anymore. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, sometimes you think that you found the right person and then years go by and it's it's never too late to start over. That's the way that I look at it. You ne It's never too late to start over. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Um, it's never late to start over. And you just have to find somebody that's looking for the same exact things that you're looking for in a relationship. In a relationship. But you also cannot lose your identity. You have to be able to do things on your own. You have to be able to love yourself enough to be your own best friend at times, right? Age is in the mind. Christine, we were just talking about that. Age is in the mind, but it's also um, in your body. Like I said, would I date somebody that's 60? I would if they were a young 60, mentally, physically. And I'm not saying I don't need no buff guy that goes to the, I, I certainly don't want a gym rat. I do not want a gym rat. You know why? Because the gym is more important than the relationship for most gym rats. They go every single day for hours on end and you're missing out on the relationship. So I don't want somebody that is like totally buff and going to the gym and like all that crap. I don't need that. I need somebody that is, you know, wants to take care of themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, uh, thank you, Shamika. Welcome. Hey, Kylie Ann. How are you, gorgeous? So, you know, it, it all depends on I would date somebody that's 60, but they would have to be a young 60. What I did, and I would probably go down, and I know this might sound a little young, but I would probably go down to the youngest 40, 45. That's what I would do. Any younger than 40? Absolutely not. No way. 45 is really probably the limit. 40 is pushing it. They would have to give me a really good reason why they'd want to date somebody that's 54. They'd have to give me a good reason. You know, some men like older women for whatever particular reason. Some men, um, some women like older men. You know, maybe because of the security. I want security just like any other woman wants security. That's something that's really important to me. Um, but a guy that's 45 or 50 or 60 can give me security. It all depends on the person. It all depends on what they're looking for in a relationship and in life. Hello, Dominique. How are you, gorgeous? Hello, Christina. How are you? So, yeah, it all depends. It all depends. Um, and I believe that women and men, I remember years ago, my mother used to always tell me, if a man loves you, he'll travel to the ends of the earth to be with you. Right? If you live in New York and he lives in California, he'll come to New York to be with you. It's not like that anymore. People have jobs. People have careers. So do I believe in long-distance relationships? Absolutely not. I, could, I, for one, cannot live in a relationship that's long-distance. No way. I couldn't do it. Maybe in the beginning, but it would have to change really quick. 
Oh, <laughs> thank you, Scott. Have a great night. Have an awesome night. And thank you for joining me tonight, Scott. You are a pleasure. You are absolute pleasure. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think that it's like that anymore. Would I leave to be with somebody in another state? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I can. I, I could do makeup anywhere. I could do nails anywhere, pretty much. Um, I can get a job anywhere. It doesn't matter to me. It, I am not prideful where if I have to get a job in McDonald's, that's going to, like, destroy me. I can work anywhere. It doesn't matter to me. As long as I'm with the person that I love and they're respecting me and I am their queen and they are my king, that's all that matters. Oh, Dominique, I can't believe nine months already. Already nine months. Holy crap, Dominique. How quick did that time go? For me, it feels like it was just yesterday you had the baby. Holy shemizel. That's, a, that's like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. So, yeah, so that's my, that's my deal on dating. Thank you, Shamika. Thank you. We did, I wound up doing some glitter on the top. And we did some falsies. And, um... Tomorrow, I'm trying to think of what we're going to do tomorrow. I don't know what color yet. I don't even know what color hair I'm going to have tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even know what color hair I'm going to have. But I'll tell you one thing. It is never dull in this room. It is never dull. Please make sure you tap my nose and follow. Make sure you like the page up top. She's so huge and I hate it. I feel like it was yesterday she was born. I know. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, beautiful. If everybody in here can start a watch party, all you got to do is click share, start a watch party, and then click on share to groups. And all the groups that you belong to, you can just hit share, 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 straight down the line, straight down the line. That would mean the world to me if you can share me out to all of the groups that you belong to, the public groups, okay? Private groups are something different. People don't want, you know, me coming into their private group saying, oh, well, hello, I'm here to do makeup. You know, that's not what it is. A private group is a private group. So if you have public groups that are makeup related, skincare, over 30, over 40, over 50 groups, advertising, classified ads, um, happiness groups, um, groups for, you know, feeling great about yourself, health and fitness, wellness, any kind of groups, Italian groups. Oh my God, the Italian groups. Share me out to the Italian groups and all the groups you belong to. And I can guarantee that we will get back up to the 15,000 views. That is my goal um, is to get back up to 15,000 views. We got up to 7,000 last week, not far away, but we're building, we're building. The more people that know about this room, the more people that'll come in and hopefully share. And I think that I teach makeup in here to the best of my ability. I hope that I can make you learn different techniques for makeup. I hope that I can brighten your day and make you smile. I hope I can make you laugh and giggle and sometimes laugh your ass off. Um, I am a New Yorker. Sometimes my mouth gets the best of me. I'm living in North Carolina now. I am 54. I am um, on the verge of starting a new life. So a lot is going on in my life right now. A lot's going on in my life right now, but I will say this. I don't have a lot of baggage. I don't have a lot of baggage. Actually, I have no baggage. None. I mean, if you consider a 33-year-old daughter that's living in San Antonio, Texas, and she's pregnant, and she's my only daughter baggage, shame on you. But no, I have no baggage. Nothing. So anyway, I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you so much for coming in. 
I love you. Um, I love each and every one of these. You know I do. Every night is a is more fun than the night that that happened last night. It really is. And um, I say um a lot. I say um a lot. I got to stop that. I got to really stop saying um so much. If you care to, Lauren, absolutely. I trust all of you. Well, not all of you. I trust some of you. Some of you I trust, and I think you have good judgment. I think. I think you have good judgment. Lauren, if you know somebody, let me know. Nothing is outside of the comfort zone. Um, I don't know. This is all new to me. It's all new to me. All new to me. A fellow transplant, New Yorker in the Carolinas. Lauren, really? Where in the Carolinas are you? And we're from Long Island. We're in New York. I'm from Long Island and I'm living in Cary. No, I don't trust jumps at all. I don't like trust. I don't, jumps does not have good judgment when it comes to me. Oh, thank you, Miss Nancy. You're a sweetheart. You're a sweetheart, my Nancy girl. You are a sweetheart. Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, you're South Carolina. I'm sorry. I thought you said North Carolina. Lots of family in the 631. That's my phone number, 631 it starts with. Suffolk County, Long Island. That's it. Suffolk County. I never change my area code, and I never will. I will always be a Long Island area code girl. <laughs> Smithtown. I was born in Comac, Lauren. I was born in Comac, but I'm from Port Jefferson. Port Jeff and then Sayville. From North Shore to the South Shore. So, yeah, it's cool. Another, that's right, we are Carolina sisters. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you like it in South Carolina? How do you like it there, and how long have you been there? Um, do I like North Carolina? I like it. Do I miss New York? Absolutely. Um, if I was to go and move again up north, it would probably be to Jersey. It would probably be Jersey. I don't know if I would go back to New York, Long Island. Um, way too much traffic. I know Jersey has traffic too, but Jersey's kind of like a central hub to Long Island and back down here. So it's kind of like, you know, Port Jeff is gorgeous. I know, 10 years, I've been eight. It's eight for me, Lauren. Thank you, Denise. Rainbow cookies, bagels, pizza. The pizza here sucks ass. <laughs> the pizza here sucks ass. They think pizza is Domino's or Papa John's. That's what they think pizza is. Um, Chinese food is about the same. About the same. But bagels, ugh, horrible. Horrible. There's a place called Brugger's Bagels, and it sucks. It, the bagels are like this big. And it's like bread. It's not like a bagel. It's, bagels are bread, but I mean, it tastes like like bread. Live in Connecticut. You'll be close to me. I was thinking about Connecticut, Cecile. Rutherford in Jersey. Really, Lauren? The pizza. The pizza's probably the worst. There's a pizza place here, and they actually ship the water from New York down here. Because it's definitely something in the water. That's why the pizza. But it's also the sauce on the pizza is just shvatara. It's like very like bitter, the sauce. And in New York, a real slice of pizza is crusty on the bottom with a nice crust, right? The underneath crust is slightly browned, not raw and not burnt. And you, when you fold it in half, it doesn't go and fall down. Right? 
There's olive oil on the pizza in New York. Here, they don't put olive oil on the pizza. I don't know why. The mozzarella here does not taste like mozzarella. It tastes like cardboard. I don't know. You can't move back. Why can't you move back, girl? Yeah, Gail, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. They eat biscuits, that's why. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But, listen, every state's got their own thing. Like, in North Carolina, which I'm sure is South Carolina, they are so big on barbecue, like, barbecue, like, Chicken fried chicken, chicken fried steak, chicken fried whatever, barbecue chicken, chicken wings, chicken this, chicken that. And they make it like nobody's business. You go up north, they can't hold a candle to North Carolina or the south as far as barbecue. <gasps> you do not, Lauren. No, I will never say that word. Never. It's used guys forever. Never will say y'all. Never. My mouth don't move that way. No! No! There's no... Uh, my New York accent is so strong, I could never even do that, even if I tried. It's always, what are you guys doing? Where are you guys going? What are you guys? And here in North Carolina, it's not where do you live. It's where you stay at. Excuse me? Excuse me? It's not where do you live, it's where you stay at. Still not used to that. Still not used to that. And then my biggest pet peeve, everybody knows, is they don't use freaking blinkers in North Carolina. They will be going 60, you'll be right in their ass at 60, all of a sudden they hit a dead freaking stop and what happens? You're right on their ass. What are they doing? Why are they stopping? Is there a turtle in the road? Is there a deer crossing? Is there swans or ducks crossing the road? What's going on? No, they decide to make a right-hand turn. No blinker, nothing. Or they'll make a left-hand turn. But instead of going and go slowing down and making the left-hand turn, even if they didn't use that blinker, there's no cars coming this way, so they can go and make a nice left-hand turn at 30 miles an hour. Right? No. They go from 60 miles an hour to a dead friggin' stop, and I am blowing my flippin' horn. Really, Nicole? Yeah, I, it'll never go away. It'll never go away. But here I am, Miss New York, right? Flipping these people the bird left and right that don't use their blinkers. It irritates the shit out of me. And listen, one thing I can say about New York is they use their blinkers. And oh, I'm sorry, call them directionals. They don't call them blinkers here, they call them directionals. So they don't use their directionals. Where you stay at? I stay in a house. I mean, really. I am two hours from the beach. I'm two hours from Wilmington, two hours from Atlantic Beach, two and a half from the Outer Banks. So that's another thing that I am not happy with. I am a beach girl. I want my beach house. Um, but then again, I love the mountains. So I don't know what I want. Like I said, I'm open to anything right now. I'm open to anything. Um, I love the mountains. I, I would love to have a gorgeous log cabin in the mountains. But then I would love to have a beach house and be able to open my French doors and the beach is right there. And you're smelling that, that gorgeous, awesome salt water air from the beach and you're hearing the waves crashing in. That's what I want. Right, Pearl? Yeah, they are. They are more country inland. I agree with you. Because my girl Tia, she's one of my great friends, and she's inland. And some of the things she comes out with sometimes, I'm like, huh? What'd you say? 
So, yeah. But I love the pieces. You used to live in Raleigh, Gail? Really? Yeah, I agree with you, Lauren. We all need a beach house and we all need a mountain log cabin. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you for letting your friends know about this page. Um, I don't I don't even know how to thank you. I know, Cecile, listen, I've been there. I know it's gorgeous there. I just, you know, like I said, I got to get a job. I got to get a job. Yes, T if Tia wants me to laugh and I'm having a really shitty day, she'll say something that I've probably never heard. Something like a southern quote or a southern thing and i'll be like huh <laughs> excuse me what did you say hey cause how are you oh lauren please make sure you follow tap my nose and follow i am on here every single night 365 on here at nine o'clock eastern time doing makeup having fun having some talks having some chit chat discussing relationships discussing makeup, discussing what's going on in the world and how to make it a better place. Because right now, the world is shit. There's way too much hatred and bad things going on in this world. And we need to figure out how to make it better. And we can only do it one person at a time, one change at a time. So I hope that all of you, each and every one of you, um, sleep with angels tonight. I'm going to post my selfies in about two minutes of this look and sleep with angels and wake up with a purpose tomorrow. Like I always say, know your worth, know that you are beautiful inside, know that you can do anything in this world that you set your mind to, um, make sure that you are with somebody that loves you in every possible way in every possible way. I hope that you are with your best friend. I hope that you are with somebody that respects you, that pushes you to the limits of your best ability ever, that is your biggest cheerleader, that is your king, and you are his queen. So for that, I hope that you will have an awesome night. I will see you tomorrow, nine o'clock. I might come on Instagram. My Instagram, once again, is Diane's Makeup Therapy. And my YouTube channel is Diane Watson. Remember, it's Diane with two N's. Diane's Makeup Therapy, all one word on Instagram. Diane Watson on YouTube. And follow me on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube. I flip-flop. I'm all over the place. But mainly I'm here every night at 9 o'clock and you can catch me here. So God bless you. Sleep with angels. I will see you tomorrow. Wake up and know it's going to be a fantastic day. A fantastic day. Because you know what? If you wake up and you're thinking it's going to be horrible, your whole day shot. So know you're going to have a fantastic day tomorrow. And know that I'm thinking of you and I love you. And that's it. Awesome, Warren. That would be great. I would love to be friends. Absolutely. So, sleep with angels. I love you. Good night, everybody. I'll post my pictures shortly. Bye, girls.